Well, we're basically like um, occupying these um, four flats because we know that they're completely livable. We're actually occupying it as um, a social centre, you know, for everyone in the community, like everyone's welcome. We're basically trying to do it to raise awareness that there is a lot of social housing out there that's being boarded up around Newham, not just around Newham, around the UK. And um, yeah, we just need people to like, you know, stand up for what's right, basically, and get your stories out. And the more stories that are out, the more people that are heard the less they can actually do it. We're having a political occupation and we're obviously trying to get as many people from the community involved and it's um, we're trying to make a movement on housing to stop places being demolished. Social housing is a system that actually worked and it's been taken away from people and we just need to all organise and get together and stop this from happening because more and more people are being forced onto the streets and yeah. out of the place they've always grown up. Yeah. It's all part of the regeneration of London. Yeah. Like. Um, social housing is being deliberately left to be run down, they're putting boards up on properties, leaving windows open so they're getting weather damage, so then the council are making them um, get um, get bad conditions themselves but luckily these properties are still okay. But um, um, the reason why that they're boarding up homes is so they can demolish them and in its place put luxury apartments to get a um, uh, quick investment. And um, it, um, London's going to end up being a place for just rich people where um, there's going to be all these luxury apartments and nobody's even going to be living in. Yeah. It's going to be very unpopulated in London if this carries on mm -hmm. because um, it's a lot of foreign investors and bankers that are buying these properties and they're just being left on the shelf as a trophy to say, oh, I've got a property here. And then letting their profit go up so yeah. the super rich are getting even richer. And then the working class people are just getting poorer and poorer and run down. They're going to end up pushing everybody up to the slums and we're all going to be putting housing that's just going to be left to deteriorate and just turn to nothing. Mm -hmm. Well, um, I personally, um, I, I think that it, it's changed my life forever. I Absolutely. see things in a completely different way. Like, um, a lot of people, they don't realise what is actually going on with the world and only when you're put in a situation, you've got a choice, you can either just take it and deal with it or you can get up and you can fight back and you can, you can do something change. about it. And everybody getting organised together and uniting together and um, making, um, making progress and moving on, you can, people can fight back mm -hmm. because the, the key thing that we have to remember is the people that are in power are the people that work for us. We do not work for them, they work for us and we need to remind yeah. those people of that and get together and stop this from happening. Yeah. The one thing that like, you know, basically stops the awareness and stuff is because people are too scared to like talk up and like actually raise their issues to like, people like us. They think, well, you know, it's happening to me, it's guaranteed not to be happening to anyone else, you know. But no, like, really and truly, like, that's how we kind of started off, because we, we was like, right, there's like 29 of us, do you know what I mean? And we started off, and we was like, well, if there's this many people here, what's going on? Like, and that's why we started the street stall, like, we do that every week from 12 till 2. I mean, we hold, like, fortnightly week uh, meetings and stuff. So, you know, like, we have basically organised ourselves and stuff like that to you know, keep the campaign running for as long as it has been. I mean, we, we really do, like, want to keep it running even longer. Mm -hmm. but, like, for as long as we can, really. Yeah, and another thing, a lot of, like, news, well, a few newspapers and stuff, people are saying that we are being taken over by activists. And our and response to that... Yeah, yeah, and we're agitators, and there's agitators and hangers on. And, like, our response to that is, no, no council put us in a situation, and we have uh, acted yeah. upon our situation, so, so they, they are, are activists. activists. And we've had so much support from all different organisations and campaign groups, and we've all got together, and that's what needs to happen. Yeah. People need to organise together, get together, and fight each yeah. battle as it comes, and just stand with each other. And that's yeah, definitely. As I was saying about the street stall, like... Um, Hannah from the RCG was actually running it at the time um, and you know we just asked her if he was like well you know how'd you start off a campaign how'd you start off like petitions and stuff like that we're the ones that started it off all, all we needed and as we're saying to everyone else all you needed that little extra push that little extra bit of support mm -hmm. yeah. do you know what I mean and that's what Hannah and every other supporter here is mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. we are the activists we acted upon our situation and we thought, you know what, no, that's not right, it's not going to happen. Mm. Yeah, so. RCG um, em empowered us to feel, yeah. like, believe in ourselves and know that you can make a difference. Mm. Like, as a group of mums mm. on our own, we really, really wanted to do something. And we but did, we did like start organising, but th you need to organise in, like, mass. You need as many people together yeah. as possible. And, like, 
it's it is really really nice to have the support yeah. of of all different groups and organisations. But Definitely. RCG has been there from day one. Newham Council is a Labour run borough, so everybody that we've seen has been from Labour, yeah. and um, each and every person has not offered us any sort of support or help whatsoever. Apart from apart from Lynn Brown, who promised this and this and this and this and this, sorry, and then never got involved. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we have met with, um, obviously we met with Robbie and Riles, the mayor of uh, Newham, and um, the first time we actually went to see him, mm -hmm. the first thing that was ever said to us, we introduced who we were, and he said, I know exactly who you are, and I think it's disgusting what you're doing. How can a Labour mayor say it's disgusting for people to be fighting for social housing, so it's obvious that he doesn't want social housing in Newham. He's even said, if you can't afford to live in Newham, yeah. you can't afford to live close. in Newham. And we've also been told by... Um, Councillor Terry Paul, uh -huh, yeah. that um, we're, we're not, not vulnerable, we're needy, and my words to him were as well, you know, you're basically saying we should move out and like, you know, get kicked out to places where we don't know anybody. I'm sorry, no, but then we are going to be vulnerable. We'll be needy as well, yeah, but vulnerable, I mean, you're classing us as homeless like parents, that's vulnerable in all different sort of senses and stuff like that, like how can you not say it? I think it's I think it's really really upsetting because what Newham Council this is an example right here Newham Council has said these properties are inhabitable and they're um they're derelict buildings. Yeah. Now we've had over a hundred people in this flat and at uh, we've had one time. Yeah, we've had a hundred people in one room at one time and I haven't seen the floors cave in and they're in perfectly good condition. They've got brand it's new brand new kitchens, kitchens brand, new, brand new bathroom, running water, electricity is still running and they're wasting money by leaving these properties empty and mm. leaving them to deteriorate so they get weather damage so they can demolish them. And I think it's absolutely disgusting for them to be saying that we're wasting taxpayers' money yeah. by letting them secure the buildings. Well, these boards that they put up, they're costing the council so much money every month. They could be profitable fitting from these properties because people will be paying their rent while living yeah. here and I think it's wrong that people are being forced out of London when there's perfectly good homes here. There's there's accommodation for everybody and there's services for everybody because everybody yeah. puts something into the system in yeah. one way or another. Yeah. And there's so many people like that um, and companies that are dodging paying tax. Why are they targeting people that are most vulnerable, working class people? Yeah, um, basically we've um, we started up a free shop, um, we've also got like a food bank, so you know, all donations are welcome with that. I mean, just coming down and showing your face really, showing some support. You know, we've got an online petition, we've got like, you know, um, a petition that we do and that we have out on the streets all. I mean, you know, come along and have a look, have a look, like, you know, just, you know, you can like actually sit there and either give us you know, your experiences on stuff and, and yeah. stuff like that. I mean, we're also trying to set up um, a Kickstarter fundraiser as well, so hopefully that goes ahead very soon. Yeah, and I think the most important thing to have like from people is just the the dedicated up, support yeah. and time because yeah. the more people that are getting together and organising it will make so much difference yeah. like people really it really does make a difference when there's more people to help out like even little things like being here like doing the washing up somebody doing the cleaning and then like we can then we're able to make um make yeah. a bit more progress just as many people as possible is always the best thing at, like we have a street store every saturday on stratford broadway outside wilkinson's and it'll be brilliant for as many people to come along what time um, is that's um, 12 till 2 every saturday we've never missed one not, not as of yet